Hello there YouTube, if you're new to the channel, thanks for um, clicking on my video and giving me a chance to entertain you guys with this review. Um, I go by the name of 101 Wavy and it's going to be a review on the Paggio something and another that I can't remember off the top of my head but it's obviously in the title. If, however, if you are not new to the channel and you are a diehard subscriber and watch my videos on a consistent basis, what's good YouTube, you know, is this your boy? It's your boy, 101 Wavy, and we are back with another video. Finally, I finally got a flipping bike review. You saw me complaining about it last video, and I finally got a bike to review. So instead of me being on the Yamaha R6, my baby Kinky, look at her looking so fresh and so clean, clean. Telling a lie, I'm telling a big ass lie. Look at the dirt, look at the dirt. She needs a clean, she needs a clean, but don't even worry about that. That's coming soon, but yeah. Like I said before, it's a Pedro or something and another, I can't remember the name, but it's the sport version. It's the sport version, as you can see, the matte grey, boom, black hat, blacked out the rims with the chrome stroke guy right the side, cheese. But yeah, you know what, don't even worry about all that right now. Um, I'm going to pull the cinematic to make it look all cool and all that, but yeah, you see me, you see me rocking my merch right now, team wavy in the building, team wavy in the building, got the J's on deck because I ain't got to worry about changing gear and shit, so should be a pretty casual ride, should be a pretty casual ride, it's pretty clean, I've actually ridden it before though, it has, it was during that, the start of summer, so it has been a while, so I've got to get used to it all again, you know, it's a completely different back to what I'm used to riding, you know what I'm saying, so yeah, let me get this out of the garage. Um, I'll get, put a few, few cinematics and shit in the video, and then yeah, we'll get on the road and go from there. Peace, see you in a minute. Captain Crunch presents. Okay, I've just rolled it out of the garage. Um, first impressions of this thing, it has been a while. I haven't seen this thing in a while still. Got mud on my J's and shit. Bear with me, bear with me, bear with me, bear with me. One second. Alright, cool. First impression on this thing, sitting down on it. I am six foot two, yeah. Six foot three, six foot four, depending on what Jordans I've got. So yeah, sitting down on it, you can see I've got a little bend in the knees, yeah. I've got a little bend in the knees, nothing crazy, but this thing is comfortable. Got a crazy wide seat. But this thing is so practical when it comes to practicality i've got samson no 8 yeah samson no 8 but that goes in there no problem normal size wallet that can go on the top got my keys right there that's calm see that bags of space if I, you know what let me pop the thing for you let me pop the seat for you real quick button right there all you gotta do press that that goes up like that boom got my little beanie hat in there team wavy obviously if you want one hit me up in my dms but yeah bags of room and i ain't even gonna open that because as you can see this thing is more more than capable of carrying a bunch of stuff put your helmet in there plus your overalls or whatever whatever you want to put on there but yeah now i've got that out of the way i just want to quickly get that out of the way this thing's even got a flipping handbrake a handbrake you know now it can roll but right now it's not even on the stand even though it's got a stand it's not on the stand because if i press this nice all loosey goosey let you go around the corners and all that so but if you had the traffic lights or not or whatnot click that there click that like that and now it's not moving, put your feet up and all sorts, that is so sick, but yeah, I just want to quickly get that out of the way, but yeah, let me, uh, this is going to be where it's going to be a little cut scene or whatever, and you're going to see me riding in the next bit, so boom. Oh my. 
my god man this thing is so quiet Jesus Christ I forgot how quiet this thing was like I said to you as before like I haven't ridden this since like the start of summer so we're talking about like Ooh. even maybe even before June before June like or whenever the start of summer is whenever it starts getting hot in England like that's when I started riding it but yeah um this thing is crazy look I'm in the habit of just putting my foot down at the, the lights or whatnot but you haven't got to do that I'll show you guys right now at this roundabout let me just stop for the sake of stopping click that to the side see you haven't got to put your foot down you can just stop put the throttle back on and you're good to go like but yeah this seating position is a little bit weird like I'm used to having something between my legs you know what I'm saying but you know it is what it's a ped you gotta think it's a ped yeah this is a 500 cc bike yeah like so don't take this not a slouch it's definitely not a 125 and it feel it doesn't feel like a 125 either it's definitely got a bit of weight to it you know what this is this review is a bit too formal right now a little bit too formal let me yeah, let me be myself a little bit more you know what it is because i'm trying not to swear in it because youtube they keep demonetizing my shit so you see what i mean shit see they're probably gonna demonetize this now for saying shit but it is what it is, it is what it is Like, I ain't, I ain't, my channel ain't that big anyway So I ain't gonna get paid that much Regardless, so I'm gonna do what I need to do But yeah, um I don't know, this thing feels I don't know, I haven't ridden a pet in time In time, in time, in time, in time, in time I haven't ridden a pet in time So, you know, going from left to right and all that it, You definitely can feel that second wheel You definitely can feel that second wheel remember this is a three-wheeler in it like you can definitely feel the two wheels they're both doing their own thing at the front there yeah. i don't know pets feel weird to me now though it's like the front's got its own thing and the back it feels like the front's not connected to the back of the bike in my opinion what's this this one okay foot brake i've got a foot brake as well that's obviously the back brake but if i do the back brake up here then it does the front brake as well yeah um what else can I say about this thing? You know what? You know peds like um Jalea Runners, uh what else? What else? What else? What else? Jalea Runners, you got um Aprilias. Like you can really kinda like I know they're small peds but you can kinda stretch your 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 leg out in it. Like you you have a lot of foot space. With this you don't really got a much foot you ain't really got much foot space, you've got one position. That's what I would say with this bag, you got one position. But this thing is fucking smooth though And it's comfortable Like you don't find yourself fidgeting a lot I'm only fidgeting because I'm trying to find My actual position Even though I've just said that it gives you one position But I'm sure it's something you just got to get used to Alright let me try and overtake some cars here And see what power this thing's got Okay Yeah Yeah know what it doesn't feel like it's getting up there but when you look at the speed though like i was just doing i was just going up to 70 and that was quick so it's obviously not in instance acceleration like my bike like the r6 and any super bike of that matter even though it is a 500 cc but you gotta take into account the weight and all that crap and you know if you're on this video you kind of probably been doing this probably isn't the first video you've clicked on you've probably done your research but yeah this thing is quiet and these mirrors are good i didn't adjust them i should have adjusted them really and truly but these mirrors are good with the right mirror you can see a little bit of your elbow with the left one though you can see everything else you can't see you can't really see your arm and i'm wearing a puffer jacket right now i can see a bit of the box that's how that's how good the mirrors are and you can see it a lot but yeah you know i'm gonna try and go in some twisties even though it is slightly slug it's slightly greasy out here but we ain't worried about that uh, full throttle this is full throttle right now full throttle full throttle what's that 60 no 50 60 like this thing is no slouch and it keeps on pulling you know what oh just in case people love to pull out of this road let me just slow it down a little bit am i looking at the right thing yeah miles now in the there's a small one so yeah that's 50 55 60 60 flat this thing can get up once you're up to speed like it can get up there no hands really feels comfortable that that second wheel really gives you a lot of um what's the word i'm looking for what's the word i'm looking for reassurance <laughs> that's the one re re yeah reassurance this thing is nice though i do like it 
Would I get one? Probably not. But you know, I'm still young though, innit? The speedo's kind of messing me up. But they should have had the miles an hour on the outside, not the kilometers. But you know. Never mind, never mind, never mind. But like I said, this is the sports version. There's nothing different between this and between the sports version, which is this one, and the normal one apart from the colour. See, I put my foot down again, but I did stop it kind of. I can put my foot up now. That's calm. I'm gonna check out the acceleration on this thing, not to 60 and all that. Do a little thing. I wanna go towards that. I wanna go on some twisties. I'm gonna go on some twisties right now. This thing is quiet. It's like it's not even on. My thing would have been like. But this, it's a little purr. Just a little purr. Engine's very quiet. I like it. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Give me something. See, like, this thing does get up, like, this ain't no 125, you know, I'm telling you. Don't ever mistake this. If you're, I don't know, if you're, like, young you and you're going for, from a 50 and you still like your peds and all that and you're going to go up to this, like, be easy on this, you know. Yeah, I would recommend it but to get one because it does feel like a little ped, but at the end of the day, the speed, the speed of this thing, it does get up. It does, it does. You just don't feel no wind or nothing because of this big-ass um, screen. That's a good thing to talk about actually, that screen is working I'm telling you, that screen is properly working I can't feel nothing Come on Give me something, give me something, that was the traction control This thing's got traction control as well This thing is nice and smooth man This thing is lovely This seat is hella comfortable as well, hella comfortable Alright, full throttle for 30, full throttle for 30, let's go, let's go, give me some, give me some, give me some, give me some, give me some. See, this thing will get, it will get to 70, no problem, no problem whatsoever, no problem. Yo, after I go on these twisties, I'm going to hit the motorway and see what this thing can actually do. Might have to hit the M11 come back on myself towards back down these sides yeah see see that why am i putting my foot down i don't need to i don't need to just press the button and you're good see this is the handbrake here lift that up and that thing's not rolling at all leave it down it will roll if you're on the hill but again this thing here this thing is brilliant that is traction control if i'm not mistaken so if i was to press that i think it's on at the moment anyway so it's gonna not let me get the back end out but I think it's got two settings to it if I'm not mistaken Like it will stop you from accelerating really really hard And stuff like that But yeah, nah, I ain't even gonna worry about all that Because it's letting me do what I want to do right now I'm not gonna milk it around here because this road is looking kind of sketchy But yeah, this thing is comfortable That second wheel is really helping right now with my confidence Like. See, you can tell I'm doing a bit of speed. I am doing a bit of speed right now. I don't even know this road, but it's giving me a little bit of confidence to actually do that speed. Leaning around these corners as well. Knowing that I'm sort of like in country right now, so there's gonna be tractors and shit leaving all kinds of crap on the road. But that second wheel at the front really giving me a lot of confidence to do what I need to do. Only thing I don't like about this bike so far is it really does feel like the front isn't connected to the back so when I am leaning and plus I haven't got anything between my legs to support myself so yeah if you're coming from a super bike to this it is going to feel easy for you to ride but at the same time it is going to take a little bit to, a little bit of time to get used to that back brake bro that back brake is really good because it does the front as well in the front by itself yeah it's a bit sketchy at times it does because it, it wiggles a little bit is that a jigsaw you guys slow on purpose because this guy's up his ass so i'm gonna try and overtake this one oh 
don't know. Uh, let's go for it. Come back in. Let's go for it. Yeah, that back brake is good. You don't need to use the front brake because it does both. Yep, yeah, really does. I don't like this jigsaw. I don't I hate jigsaws, you know. I really do. I don't like them. The front of them looks good. I don't like the back. the M11's up there yeah this thing is nice though going around the corners and all that yeah man I do like this thing it's comfortable it's so quiet why is it so quiet? Why can't all bikes? No, 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 no. Let's not go there, let's not go there. Let's not go there, but yeah. I don't even know what to really say about this thing. I really don't. It's just, it's comfortable, it's quiet, but yeah, we're gonna hit the motorway anyway. And then try and do a top speed run and see how fast this thing can go. I want to use this foot brake as well. These rates are sharp-ish. They're not crazy sharp to the point where you're, it's, it's flinging you forward, but it does reassure you to know. It, may, it makes you think, yeah, okay, yeah. These brakes are, are pretty good. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty scared of how formal I'm being right now. I'm really trying my best not to swear and shit. There we go, swear and shit. See, I'm, I keep swearing, I can't fucking help it. been on this bike for how long now it feels like 20 minutes it really does oh see ah, I just get it oh. these brakes are sharp though brakes are sharp like when I just um, locked up the back, the brake, the front brake. I locked up the back. When I just locked up the brakes just then, the back wheel locked up, but the front didn't. But it was still braking, so that's how I know that this is doing both brakes. Should have used the foot brake. Is there anyone behind me? Oh, that's sharp. Yeah, that's sharp. That's sharp. One more time. Yeah, that's 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 yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's doing its thing. Yeah, and it's hit the M11. Okay, that's another thing. Like, if you're using the foot brake, if you use the front brake, it's not gonna do it. If that makes sense. No, if you're using the foot brake, sorry, and then try using the back brake on the hand, like if it won't do it, it's not gonna do it because really and truly it's already in place. You gotta think about it like that. See, I wanna just tear it around this corner, but it's wet and I, I don't wanna wreck the bike and yeah. But I'm going around here 40 miles an hour, so <laughs> I've got the confidence to really open it up. I like, just open it up now, see what this thing can do. What are we doing? What 80? 80? It don't even feel like 80. Don't feel like 80 whatsoever. It's wobbling. What's that? 90? You gonna give me a hundred? You wanna give me a pill? Come on, give me a pill. Give me a pill. Give me a pill. Give me a pill. Alright, so it's not gonna give me a pill. I uh, will say it's doing 95. That's 95, yeah? That's the top speed on this thing. 30. This thing is completely standard and it's so comfortable. Look, one handed and shit. It is so comfortable. Don't really get much wind because of this big screen. Like, I can feel it on the side, but this thing is squirreling like mad. So, this. I'm over. As I was going around that turn, it started to wobble a little bit. But it's slightly windy out here. If the windmill was behind me, I think I could get a ton. I could get a, I could get the hundred, but not in fact. Because you probably think, oh, it's not, uh, it's not that much. Like a one two five could easily do that when it's tuned up and shit. 
but it's mainly how it gets there like if it gets there quick hella quick like you saw me doing acceleration like it was just going up kept on going but once it hits that 95 yeah it's not going past that it's not going past that at all the way this wind is hitting me is so weird like it's hitting me in my back and it's like pushing me and making me look like I've got a big belly and shit that's weird this screen is good though, you can't feel it, no, you can't feel it here can't feel it there at all but yeah, you know, man, I like this thing, for a ped if I weren't into my super bikes, this might be a good option, you know definitely practical it's got hella space, Pract practical as fuck hella practical like I said, I've got my keys, my wallet and my thing in there I ain't, got, I ain't worrying about all that falling out I'm sure this thing can even have a foam out if you need it Yeah, this thing is mad, I like it, you know, I do like it Those front wheels are skinny though, they are skinny I can feel it now, now I'm going around these corners and it's starting to wobble a little bit So at high speed, doing going around the corners and stuff it's, 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 it's okay you don't really want to be doing it at high speed because obviously this bike isn't really built for that anyway this is a daily commute in like city of in, in the like central london and all that shit it's not really meant for this well it is meant for this because obviously the engine but it's not meant to be going fast all the time you get what i'm saying it's meant to be going slow and just comfortable like so yeah it's meant it's meant for in it's meant for in city going to work coming back home you know possibly going to see your see your missus in wherever or wherever you go and see your side chicken out of, the, out of the city and all that like it's all good but this thing is comfortable i can't feel no bumps you know there's one bump here okay yeah i thought that one that was a harsh bump though that was a harsh bump but yeah man this thing is all right but yeah overall out of 10 i'm giving it a seven for the simple reason that it's practical that like, this thing is hella practical you, you got cubby holes you got hella under seat storage and if you've got a box as well to go with it like hella room can put all your bike gear in there everything this thing gets up to speed like crazy like it really does feel like a 500 it really does in terms of acceleration wise but this thing will only top out at 95 miles an hour so don't expect it to feel like a flipping r6 or nothing like that it's not built for that this thing is definitely built for central london like if you're trying to take this to work go see a girl check your side chick because she's not in the ends or whatever and then go see your brethren after that then this is the bike for it but don't expect to be going around corners knee down and shit unless you're a professional and can actually drift this thing because i personally think with the right person behind the wheel like you'll be able to drift this around the corner like 100 percent, 100 percent. but to me me personally and what i'm used to and like i'm used to the r6 and this bike ain't really for me. It feels like the front end isn't really connected to the rest of the bike and there's nothing between your legs to hold on to as you're going around the corner and sometimes if you're going around the corner too fast then it wants to wobble and shit like this ain't really for me but that's why I'm giving it a seven but for anyone else like if you're a beginner, there's definitely if you're a beginner, like with this one specifically, like you don't need a CBT. If you have a driving license you can drive this one because of the wheelbase at the front. There's two types to this MP3. Like you got the bike version with the slightly smooth, with the swipe, uh, the, 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 with the slightly um, shorter wheelbase, and you got this one. Like you can ride this on a driving license if you have one. So if if that's what you wanna do, you can do that legally. So yeah, other than that, like uh, there isn't really much else to say about this bike. It's not fun to ride. I would say it's fun to ride because it's not really meant for fun. It's definitely meant for a purpose, and that's to take your ass to work and back. Other than that, like it's, it's cool. It's cool. I didn't enjoy riding it because, like I said, it's not meant for really having fun on. It's definitely built for a purpose. You get what I'm saying? Definitely built for a purpose. That's built for fun and going on the track. So. But this is the sport version, which is only the colorway that it's got the matte grey with the black rims, which is cool. I'd suggest, I suggest, I suggest getting that. Other than that, like, yeah, <laughs> that's all that I have to, have to really say about this bike. Um, so yeah, 
Like, comment, subscribe, all that good shit, and I'm out. Peace.